Hi, how you doing this evening? My name is Mark. I'll be reviewing the new Samsung MP3 player, the YPP2, which uh, has quite a few features. It has a nice slim design, a 3-inch touch screen, uh, features DNSE 2.0, um, let's see, 30 hours of audio time, 4 hours of video, uh, comes with Bluetooth, picture viewer, FM tuner, and a few other features. So let's take a look. Alright, so here we go with the YPP2. Um, then we pull off the cover. We have a USB cable. We have headphones. We have headphone covers. We have headphone covers. We have a stand, a keychain stand, and we of course have the software and manual. Okay, so that's what comes with the YPP2. So let's take a closer look and see what this thing can do. Its material, color, and f feel are extraordinary. Uh, the front of the P2 is made of a glazed material with a glossy black surface. The back is made of a non-glazed metal. Gives it, you know, some sturdiness. Um, the P2 will actually be launched in white and also wine red, as well as black. Uh, the P2 has four noticeable buttons. Uh, right here it has the play, pause, hold, and then on the other side it has volume control. <clears throat> okay, so then when we look at the top, uh, it has a loop to hang an X-strap or other accessories. And then on the bottom, it has a microphone, a USB connector, and a phone jack. So you can listen to music. Okay, it's actually, you know, kind of heavy. You know, it weighs about three ounces. But the three-inch screen, as you can see, uh, gives it you know, quite a bit of an advantage over other MP3 players. <clears throat> and it makes it more versatile and makes up for the weight. Alright, so here's the YPP2. Let's take a closer look. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so right here we're at the MP3 screen. Let's actually go back a bit. And we will get to the Cosmos interface screen. You can cycle through the different menus by rotating your finger in a clockwise or counterclockwise manner. I see it's very, very responsive. It's actually kind of neat. All right. You can also move your finger up and down and cycle through different menus. It's actually quite convenient and really neat. 